Okay, let's do it. Let's get started. Happy Tuesday. Let's stand up. All right, so um, we're going to start a little bit differently than what we've been doing. I want you to go ahead and stand right away at the back of your mat. Let's take a couple big breaths. You're going to inhale, reach your arms all the way up, get nice and tall through the crown of your head. And then exhale, you're just going to lower your arms like you're pressing the air down by your sides. I'm going to face you. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Shoulders stay unshrugged. Crown of the head reaches to the ceiling. And then exhale, you're just pressing your arms down and feeling your shoulders settle down out of those ears. Inhale, last time, reach up. And then exhale, go ahead and press those arms all the way down. We're gonna add that little forward fold. So you're gonna inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Shoulders stay settled into your back. Exhale, scoop your belly. Go ahead and just round your spine. Come all the way down to the mat. Let your head hang for a moment. Just shake out your neck. And then from there, take a nice big breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna scoop your belly, press down into your feet, roll yourself all the way up to standing. And then again, you're pressing the air down. Arms settle down by your sides. Let's do that again a little quicker. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, scoop your belly, round your spine, come all the way down to the ground. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, drive down through those heels. Squeeze your booty, curl your spine back up and then press your arms with resistance all the way down by your sides. Last time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, scoop your tummy, feel your lower back stretching as you come all the way down. Inhale at the bottom, and then exhale, press into your feet, squeeze the back of your legs, scoop your belly, come all the way up, and then let your arms just settle down by your sides. So you're at the back of your mat. Let's stand in that Pilates V. Let's go forward. Heels together, toes apart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, scoop your belly, round your spine, come all the way down into your forward fold. Right away today, we're gonna walk out into a plank. So walk out in three, two, one. Go ahead and hold your plank here. You're still in that Pilates V, so you're squeezing your heels, you're squeezing your booty, you're pressing your chest up away from the mat, so you're nice and strong through the upper body. From here, you're just gonna hinge from your heels, or from your ankles, all the way forward. Your body moves in one straight line and then hinge in your ankles, the heels reach back. So you're just going forward and back. Forward and back. Think about your shoulders, your hips, and even your head just traveling straight forward, straight back on that same plane for three. Keep pressing the ground away. Two. Okay, last one. You're gonna find center, hold it here. Scoop your belly, hike your hips up. Let's walk those hands all the way back to those feet. Find that forward fold, and then like we did at the very beginning, press down into your heels, scoop your belly, curl your spine up, and then lower those arms by your sides. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach those arms all the way up. Exhale, hollow out your abs, so round your spine, come all the way down, head is heavy. You're gonna walk back out into that plank. Three, two, one, you're there. Hold it, squeeze those heels, squeeze that tush, draw your belly button up into your spine. And then again, let's just shift it forward. It's like you're coming onto your tippy toes, and then you're reaching your heels back towards that wall behind you. Shifting forward, shifting back. Just for three. Neck long, gaze at the top of your mat for two. Okay, last one, find center. Scoop your belly, pike your hips up, walk all the way back to your feet. Three, two, one, you're there. Scoop, inhale, exhale, roll back up all the way to standing. We're just gonna do it one more time, you guys. Arms come down. Inhale, you reach them back up. Exhale, round your spine, come all the way down into that forward fold. Walk out into your plank. You are there, squeeze your heels, draw your belly button up, shoulders out of ears, shift it forward, shift it back. Forward and back, just for three. Keep reaching your head forward for two, like it's an arrow. Last one, find center, hold it here. Now, I want you to walk your feet in towards your hands. So you're in this little like hovering tabletop position. So your knees are kind of right underneath your hips. You're balanced, your back is flat, your shoulders are out of your ears. Breathe here, you're just gonna hold it. For five, we're gonna tap those knees and then use that belly to lift your knees back up. In three, two, one. So the knees tap the mat and then exhale, use your belly to pull those knees up. Little tap, exhale, pull the knees up into you. Tap, pull them up, tap, belly scoops to lift for four. 
three, two more. Okay, last one, lift those knees and then drop them all the way down. Shift back, take a quick little child's pose. Woo, everything should be nice and warm now. And then all you're gonna do, you guys, is sit down on your booty. You can face whatever direction. Feet together, knees are bent, your inner thighs are squeezing together. You're gonna reach your arms out in front of you, relax your shoulders out of your ears, tuck your tailbone under, scoop out your abs, and get your lower back to melt into your mat. And then think of going down one vertebra at a time. I want you to stop right when your shoulder blades hit that mat. So the tip of your shoulder blades are touching. Keep your chest open, unshrug your shoulders, inhale. Exhale, scoop your belly even more to come back up. Think of stacking your spine one vertebra at a time. Come up, sit nice and tall. Make sure those legs are still squeezing together. Feet are on the floor, tuck your tailbone, hollow out your belly, get your lower back to press into that mat. Roll back just to the tip of your shoulder blades. Inhale there. And then exhale, scoop your belly even more. Keep that chest open. Don't hunch your shoulders. Come back up one vertebra at a time. Sit up nice and tall. Let's go for three. So after that plank work, your arms should already be pretty tired. You should already feel your shoulders, especially if you're holding those weights. Curl back up by hollowing your abs, but keep your collarbones smiling wide. Nice and tall at the top. Last two, roll back. Try to get every single vertebra of that spine one at a time, melting into that mat. Keep those feet down. Inhale, exhale without hunching. Curl back up, scooping out those abs. Just warming up your abs here. Shoulders out of ears. The last time, we're gonna roll back to the tip of those shoulder blades. Find that C curl right here, just hold it. Then from there, you're gonna open up your arms and then hug your trace. So inhale, open. Exhale, hug. Now kind of look at your belly button. Each time you hug your tree, I want you to think a belly button scoops in a little bit deeper into that spine. Make sure again, you're keeping that chest open wide. You're not hunching those shoulders. Squeeze those inner thighs and keep those feet on the floor for four more. Inhale, open. Exhale, hug for three, for two. Okay, last one, you're gonna hug it in and hold it here. Relax your shoulders out of your ears. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, curl up just halfway. Find that spot that you don't really want to hang out, and you're going to hold it there, shoulders out of here, so you're just a little bit higher. You're not sitting all the way up. Go back into that hug here. So now you notice, as you open your arms, your chest is going to try to pop forward, but you're going to stay in that exact same spot as you open. Exhale, hug. Shoulders out of ears. Inhale, open. Exhale, hug. Think again. Belly button scoops in deeper each time you hug that tree for four. Chin is level, looking straight ahead for three. Don't look down. Two more. Okay, last one. You're going to hug it in, hold it. Now, from here, I just want you to go back one inch, scoop your belly, come up an inch. Go back one inch, scoop your belly, come up an inch. Try not to bounce. Again, relax your shoulders. You guys, you got it. Keep your feet on the mat. Keep your chest open for five. Scoop that belly even deeper to come up for four. Think navel to spine for three. You can do it. Last two. Okay, last one. We're gonna roll all the way down. One vertebra at a time. Try not to collapse. Roll that. And then let that head come all the way down. Let your arms stretch back overhead. Maybe even arch your back a little bit. Get a little stretch in that belly. And then let's float those arms straight up so your palms are facing forward. Your wrists are right above your shoulders. You can bring your feet a little bit closer to your bottom here. Still keep your tailbone nice and anchored. So still don't really move your legs. You're just going to do a crunch as you exhale you crunch up and think about pressing your arms down through molasses especially if you've got weights you want to make sure those weights are not just hanging off your shoulders plug your shoulders into your back open up your chest and then lower down with control exhale you're crunching up your arms are staying plugged into your back you're not letting anything hang that belly button melts into that spine collarbones wide and then you lower all the way back down Let's exhale, crunch up. Make sure that your pelvis is not rocking closer to your chest. You're keeping that pelvis nice and anchored into your mat. Inhale to lower down. Exhale to crunch up, not just lifting your head, you guys. Make sure you're really curling up and over those ribs. Just give me three. Exhale, curling up that belly button melts in. Your collarbones are wide. Inhale, lower down. Last two. Exhale, curling up. 
Think of reaching through those fingertips. Inhale, lower down. Okay, last one. We're going to crunch up. We're holding it right here. Stay lifted. Roll those shoulders down and back. Open that chest. Now breathe in. Inhale, exhale. Lift your right leg using your belly. So sink that navel a little bit deeper. Inhale, set that foot down. Exhale, lift that left leg. Just tabletop. Inhale, with control, set that foot down. Now if you need your hands to support your neck, place your hands right behind your head. Interlace your fingers and continue. Exhale, lifting one leg at a time. But I want you to see, again, as you lift that leg, your belly button drops in deeper to your spine. It's truly coming from your belly and not from your quad and not from your hip. Exhale, right leg up. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, left leg up. Inhale, set it down. Let's do one more each side. Right leg up. Set it down. Squeeze those inner thighs. Left leg up. Set it down. Hold it right here. Re-extend your arms if you lost it. Unshrug your shoulders. Let's pulse. Curl up an inch. Back an inch. Up an inch. Back an inch. Make sure your chest is staying open. You're not hunching those shoulders. Melt that belly button deeper into that spine. Stabilize your pelvis. Let's go five. Feeling those abs. Four. Let it burn. You guys hang on for three. Exhale. Crunch up for two. Last one. Lower your chest all the way down. If you want to take a moment, stretch your arms back. Arch your back. Stretch your belly. Go for it. When you're ready, float those arms back up to the ceiling. Bring your legs up into tabletop this time. So squeeze those inner thighs. Your feet are higher than your knees, so you can kind of see your toes here. Knees are over those hips. Again, tailbone is anchored. You're not going to let your pelvis rock. Inhale, exhale, same idea. You crunch up, you press your arms down by your sides, you unshrug your shoulders, open up your collarbones, and then inhale with control, lower all the way back down. Exhale, crunching up, that belly button melts into that spine, curling up and over those ribs, lower with control. Let's add that leg extension, so as you crunch up, those legs reach out to that diagonal, make sure the legs are still plugged into your belly as well. Bend your knees as you lower down, Exhale, reach those legs out, curling up, collarbones wide, shoulders out of ears. Inhale, bend those knees and lower back down. Let's go for three. Squeeze those inner thighs. Lower down, bend those knees. Exhale, curling up for two. Great job, you guys. Hang on to it. Okay, last one. We're going to hold it up, so staying lifted. Heels together, toes apart. Again, if you need your hands, interlace them behind your head. Totally fine. You're going to bend your knees. They're going to separate, so they're kind of going out towards your elbows. And then reach those legs right back out. Zip those inner thighs. Bend those knees. Exhale. Use your belly to pull those knees in. Inhale. Reach your legs out and squeeze those inner thighs together. Keep your tailbone on the mat. Your hip bones should not be rocking towards you. You're just bending and extending those legs like a little frog. Bend those knees, but sink that belly button deeper into that spine. Reach it back out. Let's just go for four. Using that breath. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull it in for three. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull it in for two. Okay, you guys, last time. Bend those knees. Pull it in. Reach those legs all the way out. Extend your arms. And then again, we're going to pulse. Curl up an inch. Up an inch. To really think about melting your belly button into your spine, don't just bob your head. For five. Squeeze those heels together for three. Squeeze those thighs for two. And one. Hug those knees into that chest. Press your head back. Let's straighten the legs out in front of you on the mat. Straighten your arms behind you. Arch your back. Stretch your belly. And then from here, you're going to inhale, exhale, going into our roll-up. Reach your arms up to the ceiling. Roll your spine up and over that imaginary beach ball. Plug your shoulders into your back. Hollow your abs. Feel your lower back stretch like you're trying to inflate it into that wall behind you. Then sit up nice and tall. You've got something heavy on your hands. You're pushing it away from you, but you're keeping your shoulders anchored in your back. Tuck your tailbone like we did at the very beginning. You're trying to get one vertebra at a time to roll into your mat. Reach those arms all the way back. Let's do it again. Inhale, float your arms up. Exhale, without momentum, roll up. Keep those legs anchored. Scoop your tummy, go over that beach ball, plug your shoulders in. Sit up nice and tall. Arms are staying active. Tuck your tailbone. Get your lower back to roll into that mat first. And then one vertebra at a time. 
you lie all the way down. Just two more times. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, roll yourself up, scoop your belly, curl over, lengthen that neck. Plug those shoulders in. Sit up nice and tall. Keep the arms pressing away. Shoulders at ears. Roll yourself back. Vertebra by vertebra. All the way into that mat. Let's keep those heels anchored. Last time. Inhale. Reach the arms up. Exhale. Curl yourself up. Curl yourself over. Hollow out your abs. Sit up nice and tall. And then let's roll ourselves halfway back this time. Find that spot where you don't really want to hang out. You're going to force yourself to hang out because you're strong. Palms facing each other. You're just going to exhale, lift that right leg. Option to bend the knee into tabletop, totally fine. As you reach that leg out onto the mat, think of it getting longer. Reach your toes away from you. Exhale, use your belly, lift the left leg up. Remember, option to bend your knee. As the leg returns to the mat, it reaches longer away from your belly. You feel your abdominal wall stretching. Inhale, exhale, right leg up, the belly button comes in. Inhale, stretch that leg longer, stretch your abdominal wall as that leg returns to that mat. Exhale, left leg up. Stretch that leg longer as it returns to the mat. Last time on the right, lift that right leg up, hold it up. We're gonna find our teaser, inhale. Exhale, left leg comes up to meet the right, hold it. Chest open, shoulders out of ears. Reach through the toes, reach through the fingers. Now on the way down, again, you're gonna tuck the tailbone. Scoop out your belly. Think of your feet both reaching away from you. Both legs get longer as you roll your spine one vertebra into the mat. You lower your legs and reach those toes all the way out away from that head. We're coming all the way back up into that full teaser. Inhale, exhale, legs, arms, chest, everything comes up. The belly button gathers everything around it. That heart is lifted. Your arms are active. And then inhale, exhale, tuck your hips under. One vertebra at a time, roll back. But think of your legs as your counterbalance. Reach them away from you so that you can really get those vertebra to peel down, bone by bone. Inhale, exhale, let's do it again. Teaser up. Belly button hugs in, arms and legs are reaching, chest is open, and then tuck those hips under, roll yourself down, get longer through those legs, reach out through the crown of that head, the arms come all the way back, last time, inhale, exhale, curl up, find that teaser, hold it here, shoulders out here, we're just going to do this one more time, so without moving anything else, open up your arms, exhale, hug your tree, inhale, open, Exhale, hug. So try not to rock the pelvis. Try not to lift and lower that chest. Stay nice and steady for five. Scooping into that belly. Four, you can always bend your knees. You can always put your tippy toes down. Three more. Two more. Okay, last one. We're gonna lie all the way down super slow. Reach those arms out, reach those toes out. Tuck that tailbone, roll back, bone by bone. Come all the way down. Ah, stretch those arms overhead. Okay, we're almost done with those abs, you guys. We're gonna do a couple more things. So you're gonna bend your knees again. Ooh. All right, from here, let's take those arms up to the ceiling. So feet are on the floor, knees are bent. Take a big breath in, we're just gonna come up and hold it. Exhale, curl up. Right away, stay lifted. I want you to take your hands, interlace your fingers behind your head, right here. You're gonna lift that right leg to tabletop like we did earlier, but you're gonna twist your chest towards that right thigh. As you set your foot down, you're gonna return to center. And then switch, lift your left leg to tabletop. As that knee comes up, you're twisting towards that left thigh. Bring your chest to center as your foot comes down quietly, control it. And switch, right leg up, twist to the right, set it down. Left leg up, twist to the left, set it down, find center. Exhale, twist, and center. Exhale, twist and center. Let's go two more each side. Try to keep those elbows wide. You got it, you guys. Last one to the right. Last one to the left. Find center. Hold it here. Squeeze your inner thighs. Come onto your tippy toes. Use your belly. Bring those legs into tabletop. And then just tap your toes to the mat. You want to make sure that your lower back is not lifting as you drop your toes. Keep that belly button pulled down into you. Use your lower abs to lift up those legs. For three more, exhale, lifting those legs up. For two, try to relax the front of your thighs, relax your quads, relax your hip flexors. 
Last one, keep the legs lifted. Now extend just the left leg. Bring that right knee closer to your nose. Twist to the right. Let's go into that crisscross. Just switch the legs, switch the twist. Switch and switch and switch. Try to get both shoulder blades off of that mat. Elbows wide, four more. Three, two. Okay, last one, find center. Don't drop it yet. Reach those arms by those sides, shoulders out of ears, from your belly. Scoop a little bit deeper, come up one more inch. Woo. Now from your back, pump your arms. Let's inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. I know that was mean. Keep those toes lifted above those knees. Stabilize your pelvis, pump from your back and open up your chest. You inhale for five. You exhale for five, so it is breath control. If you're good and you want to reach those legs out, go for it. Heels together, toes apart, squeeze those inner thighs, squeeze that booty, you breathe in. Two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Two more breaths, so maybe you can lower those legs, maybe you can curl up a little bit deeper. Okay, last breath here, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, freeze. We're almost there, you guys, with control. Lower those straight legs all the way to the mat. Reach your arms up a little bit higher. Now pulse that chest up an inch, down an inch. Scoop your belly. Don't just bob your head. Curl a little bit deeper for eight, seven. Scoop that belly. Press those heels into that mat for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down. Stretch those arms oh, all the way back. Good job, you guys. Bend your knees again. This time, your heels are gonna be close to your booty. You've got two inches between your feet, two inches between your knees. You're squeezing those inner thighs, even though the legs aren't touching, they're active. Press your arms into the mat. Open your chest. Let's open up the front of those thighs now. Go into your bridge. Tuck your tailbone. Roll up one vertebra at a time into that shoulder bridge. Open up that chest. Collarbones wide. Press the entire back of your shoulders into the mat. Now take a big breath in, and as you exhale, articulate your spine down. So scoop out your belly, really exaggerate this. This is a nice opportunity to massage your spine into the mat. Smooth out any of those sticky spots. Untuck your hips at the bottom, and then exhale, tuck that tailbone. Come right back up into that bridge, pressing into those heels, turning on the back of your legs, opening up your chest, but keep your ribs together. Make sure they're not flaring open. You're not hyperextending or arching your back. Roll yourself all the way back down. Okay, we're just gonna go two more times. Get that nice spinal articulation. Tuck your tailbone, come up into that bridge and really open that chest. Press the back of your shoulders down, chin off the chest, make space there. Roll yourself back down. Okay, one more time. We're coming up into that bridge. We're just holding. Tuck those hips under. Lifting one bone at a time up to your shoulder blades. Hold it. Okay, make sure your knees are not flaring open. You want to find your inner thighs. So press into the big toe side of your feet. Hug those inner thighs in towards each other. Open up that chest. Abs in. Squeeze that booty. You're going to lift your right leg to tabletop without letting that left knee roll open. So still squeezing that left inner thigh. Set your foot down with control. We've done this a bunch of times, right? Left leg into tabletop. Same idea with that right leg. Don't let that knee roll open. Press into that big toe. Find that inner thigh. Set that foot back down. Again, right leg, tabletop. Set it down quietly. Left leg, tabletop. Set it down quietly. Make sure your pelvis is staying nice and high. Make sure that your hip bones are staying nice and level so you're not shifting one hip or the other as you lift that single leg. Let's go just one more on the right. So you're gonna lift that right leg up. Set it back down. One more on the left. Hold this left leg lifted now. Again, hug that right knee inwards. Find the inner thigh. Reach that left leg up to the ceiling. Lift your butt a little bit higher. Keep your hip bones level as you lower just that straight leg down towards the mat. It doesn't have to touch. Kick it back up to the ceiling. Feel again your abdominal wall stretching as that leg lowers. Use your belly to kick that leg back up. Reach it away and then kick it back up. Reach it away and then kick it back up. We got four more. Pelvis is not moving. Do not drop that left hip for three. 
Pressing into that right heel, squeeze your booty, squeeze that right inner thigh. Last one, we're gonna hold that leg lifted. Okay, from here, you're just gonna come up onto your right tippy toes. Make sure those five toes are equally pressing into the mat. Then you're gonna tap your booty down. Exhale, lift your booty all the way back up. So you're on the right tippy toes. Your left toes are pointed to the ceiling. Your booty is coming down. And then you're squeezing the back of that right leg to lift back up. Make sure your hip bones are level. They come down together. They go up together. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. You got four more. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Last three. Exhale, lift. You got it, you guys. For two, should be feeling that right leg starting to burn. Last one. Come all the way up. Hold it up there. Lower your right heel. Keep your booty lifted. Bend your left leg. Set that foot down. If you need to lower your hips for a moment, do it. Otherwise, go back into that march. Right leg up. Set that foot down. Left leg up. Set that foot down. Level out your hip bones again. This is your chance to reset. Tuck those ribs. Squeeze that belly. Press into your arms. Let your arms give you some more power. Okay, let's go one more each leg. You're going to hold that right leg lifted this time. So right leg up. Lift your booty. Straighten that leg. Level out your hips. Just that right leg is going to lower, lengthening that right side of your waist. Lift it back up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Big left, big toe, pressing into the mat. Find that left inner thigh, find the back of that left leg. Just for four. Three more, you got it, you guys. Hang on for two. Okay, last one. Hold that leg up to the ceiling. Come up onto your left tippy toes. So all five toes are pressing into the ground. Point your right foot. And then from there, both of your hip bones come down together. Tap the mat. Exhale, lift. Down together. Tap. Exhale, lift. Keep hugging that left knee in towards your midline. Do not let that knee roll open. Just tapping and lifting. Squeezing the back of that left leg. We got four. Exhale, lift. Three. Belly button into spine. Lift. For two. Okay, last one. Hold it up. Lower that left heel, but keep your butt lifted. Keep this right leg reaching to the sky. Roll your spine down. As soon as your butt is down, lift your chest. Grab the back of that right leg, maybe the calf, maybe the hamstring. Extend your left leg out in front of you. Pull, pull, and switch. Pull, pull, and switch. So giving yourself a little bit of a hamstring stretch but we're right back into that belly work. Keep your tailbone anchored. Make sure as you pull, pull the leg, your body does not bounce or rock. Belly controls this. Legs are nice and long for three, two. Okay, last one, you're gonna lift both legs up to the ceiling. Keep that tailbone down, so get your booty on the mat. Interlace your hands again right behind your head. Then both legs are gonna lower. Doesn't matter how low they go, I want your lower back to stay on the mat. I want your belly to stay scooped in. Think of reaching your toes away from you so you feel, again, that lengthening of your abdominal wall. Exhale, belly does the work to lift those legs right back up. Inhale, those legs lower, they reach away from you. You lengthen out, chest open, elbows wide. Exhale, navel sinks deeper to lift those legs back up. Let's just go for three. Using that breath, lifting up those legs, elbows wider for two. Make sure your butt doesn't lift, you're just bringing the legs up. Relax the front of your thighs, use your belly. Okay, last one, reach those legs away from you. Lift those legs back up. One last time, we're gonna do this, reach your arms by your sides. Tailbone stays heavy, you're just pulsing that chest. Up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. Curl deeper, don't just bob your head. Eight, seven, six, tailbone anchored, five, you got it, you guys, four, three, two, and one, bend those knees, hug them into you, and then let's go ahead and rock and roll, find your rolling like a ball, just giving that back another little massage here, okay, we're going to come all the way up, Woo, cross your ankles, 
hands go on the mat in front of you, you're just going to untuck your legs behind you. Okay, we're going to do a little bit more booty work. I'm actually going to face this way so that you guys can see my leg. You're going to take that right leg, so make sure you're on the correct side. Right leg reaches out, square off your hips, so bump that right butt cheek down. Little lift, lift, tap. Up, up, and tap. Lift, lift, tap it down. Lift, lift, tap it down. Soften your elbows. Shoulders out of ears. Pull that belly button up into your spine. Don't let your belly hang. Don't let your back arch. Let's go five. Think of reaching those toes away from you. Lengthen that leg as it comes up for three. Last two. Okay, we're going to hold that leg lifted on this next one. Hold it up. Then from there, you're going to open that knee out towards your right elbow as it bends. And then you're going to reach that leg straight back behind you. So a little external rotation. Bend that knee towards that right elbow. Reach that leg straight back behind you. Bend it in. So you're going to get a little bit of a crunch on that right side of your waist. As well as that booty work. Bend it in. Reach it out behind you. Don't just dump all your weight into your wrists, you guys, especially if you're feeling your wrists here. Try to put a little bit more weight back into that left knee. Slug your shoulders into your back and hold yourself up with your powerhouse rather than letting your joints hold you up. Go for four. Little crunch on that right side. Three. Reach that leg back. For two. Okay, guys, last one. Crunch it in. Reach that leg all the way back. Hold that leg up. Hold it active. Bring your left hand to the middle of your mat. You're just going to pivot your body towards your right. So now you're in this like side, um, kneeling side kick position is what it's called. Reach that right arm to the ceiling. Roll your shoulders back. You're going to tap the ground again. Kick, kick that leg up. Little tap. Up, up. Little tap. Up, up. If you want to put this hand on this hip, that's fine. Make sure your body's flat, though, between two imaginary walls. Or imagine you're a piece of toast. You guys know I love to say this. Don't burn the toast on those hot coils. Stay flat. So stack your hips. Stack your shoulders. Get that chin off that chest. Tap. Kick, kick. Tap. Kick, kick. Let's go for five. Relax your ankle joint. Relax your knee joint. Four. So you feel this coming from your booty. Three. Lift, lift. For two, up, up. Last one, hold that leg lifted. Reach your right arm over your ear. You're gonna bend the knee and the elbow. Again, you're gonna crunch that right side a little bit. And then you're gonna rainbow. Reach that arm and leg, get longer through the toes, longer through the fingertips. Bend the knee and elbow, crunch that right side body. Rainbow that right side as you reach your arm and leg away. Push the ground away with that left hand. Bend it in, rainbow it out. Bend it in. Rainbow it up. Let's go for five. Four. You're going to start to feel that right side booty. Three. Try to keep that leg lifted. Just for two. Okay, last one. Reach it out. And then from here, you're actually going to lie all the way down on your side. So bend that left knee. Lie all the way down on your side. You're going to bend both knees. You're in this little like um, L shape with your legs. You're going to let your head come all the way down onto your hands, or onto your bicep, I should say. And then you're going to lift that left side of your waist off of the ground. Right leg comes up and down. The shape of the leg stays the same. So your leg is an L shape. You're lifting that whole shape up, lowering that whole shape down. Everything comes up, ankle and knee in line, everything comes down. For five, don't forget about this little space underneath your left side. Keep it lifted. Don't let your side collapse for three. So you're still going to feel a little bit of oblique here. Two more. Okay, lift that leg, hold it up. Now keep your knee lifted. You're going to bend it in towards your chest, and then you're going to reach that leg away from you. Bend that knee in towards that chest. Reach that leg all the way out away from you. Keep everything lifted the whole time. So when the knee comes in, it does not dip towards the ground. You reach that leg out. You squeeze the back of your leg all the way across the room, like you're trying to punch a hole in that wall across from you. Now think about your left knee pressing into the ground so that you can keep that space underneath the left side of your body. Let's go for four. Starting to feel that right butt cheek again. Three. Woo. Last two. We're almost done with this leg. Last one, you're gonna hold that leg all the way out. So straight leg taps the ground. 
kick kicks up like we did earlier. Tap, up, up. Tap, up, up. Don't forget, space underneath your left side body. Pick up those ribs, lift, lift. You should actually be able to fit your hand underneath that left side of your body here. Press into that bottom leg, press into your arm, pull your abs in to get that space a little bit bigger. So tap, up, up, tap, up, up. Just five, four, you got it for three. Last two. Oh, my butt's burning. Okay, last one. Bring that leg up. Hold it up. You're going to straighten your bottom leg. You're going to lift both legs a little higher. Draw me scissors here. So one leg forward, the other leg back. You switch and switch. I'm using my top hand as a kickstand. Make sure your hips are stacked. They're not rocking and rolling. Little scissors. So you're starting to feel that bottom leg, that left inner thigh. You have five. Four, three, two, okay, last one here. Squeeze those legs together, lower them down. Now you're gonna bend your top leg, so the right knee bends. You're gonna place the foot on the floor, just kind of right in front of that left thigh. Flex your left foot, just lift that leg up and down. Little up and down, little up and down. So we're getting that inner thigh now on that bottom leg, that left leg, so you wanna make sure you're not Kicking the foot up and down. You're lifting that inner thigh up and down. The foot just comes along for the ride. You have five, four. Open up your chest. Roll that right shoulder back. Last two. Hold it up on one. Draw me a little circle up and around. So again, you're not just kicking that foot. You're not frantically moving that leg. You lift from the top of your thigh. That adductor inner thigh. Reverse the direction of your circles. Up and around. Up and around. Oh, we got it, you guys. Hang on. It's starting to burn. You got five, four, three, two. You're going to hold it up on one. Now point your toes. Lift lower, flex your foot, lift, lower, point, up, down, flex, up, down, point, up, down, flex, up, down, point, up, down, flex, up, down, point, up, down, flex, last one, point the toes, lift the leg up, hold it, now with pointed toes, draw me those circles again, Woo! left inner thigh on fire for five, <sighs> we're going to reverse and finish this leg off, reverse, other way, up and around, up and around, open that chest again. Still pick up that left side of your waist for four, three, two, and one, relax. Oh my God, go ahead and straighten those legs. Put out the fire in that right butt cheek. Roll over onto your tummy. Let's get a little bit of back extension before we move on. So legs are together. One hand on top of the other. Rest your forehead on your hands. You're gonna lift everything. Inhale, lift the chest. Lift the legs, hands and forehead are glued together, elbows wide, suck your belly button off of the mat, and then inhale, lower everything back down. So take a nice big breath, inhale, exhale, and then as you inhale, lift everything up, belly button stays lifted off that mat, squeeze your butt, lift those legs, exhale, lower everything back down. Inhale, lift everything up. Do not let your belly button drop. Keep that little space underneath it. Exhale, lower everything down. Let's go for three. Inhale, lift. Reach out through your toes. Exhale, lower. Last two. Inhale, lift. Elbows a little bit wider. Exhale, lower. Okay, last one. Inhale, lift everything up. Hold it. Bend your elbows so your arms look like a goal post. As your arms straighten, I want you to separate your legs. As your elbows bend, goal post, you squeeze your legs together. Reach your arms straight, separate your legs. Goal post arms, squeeze your legs together. Don't forget that belly button, suck it away from that mat. Squeeze your booty, get your legs longer. For four, gazes down for three. Keep the back of that neck nice and long for two. Okay, we're gonna hold the arms out, hold the legs apart, separate your arms a little bit so your body looks like an X, lower everything down. I'm gonna scoot over so I have room. Your body is still in that X shape. Lift everything up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, everything comes up. So again, suck your belly button off the mat. Inhale, lift. 
Exhale, lower. Okay, last one. Lift everything up. Hold it up here. Reach your arms all the way back. Palms face up. Roll your shoulders back. Squeeze your legs and separate. Squeeze your legs and separate. Try to lift that chest, but keep your belly button off the ground. Roll your shoulders back a little bit more. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Open those collarbones wide. You have five. Four. Little squeeze for three. Last two. Okay, last one. Squeeze it together. Hold it here. Now swim, kick those legs. Lift that chest. Suck that belly button in more. Shoulders pull back and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Press back. Woo! Take a little child's pose. Great job, you guys. Come back onto all fours. I'm just going to turn this way so you can see my leg again. So hands are underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath your hips. We gotta hit the other leg. So make sure it's your left leg that reaches back. You're gonna kick, kick, tap the ground. Up, up, tap it down. Little squeeze, squeeze, and tap. Up, up, and tap. Do not let your belly button drop to the ground. Do not let your back arch. Put a little baby bend in your elbows. Shoulders pulled out of your ears. Squeeze, squeeze that booty, tap it down. Squeeze, squeeze, and tap. Let's go five. Four, keep that neck nice and long for three, soften those elbows for two. I always hyperextend. Last one, hold it up. Now you're gonna bend that knee out wide towards your left elbow. So you get a little crunch on the left side of your waist. Reach that leg all the way back behind you. Bend it wide, squeeze that left side body. Reach that leg all the way out. Bend it wide. Reach it out. Imagine you're moving through molasses, so with control, that leg reaches out, that knee comes in wide. Let's go five more. Bend it and try not to rock your shoulders. For four, keep that belly button pulled away from the ground. Three, you got it, hang on to it. Two more. Okay, last one, hold that leg all the way out, reach through the toes, bring the right hand to the center of the mat, and then just turn your body towards your left, so you're squared off towards the phone or towards your camera. Reach your arm up to the ceiling or put your hand on your hip. Same idea with that leg, tap, kick, kick up. Tap, up, up, so roll the shoulders back, especially that right shoulder. Remember, you never want to just dump your weight into your wrist. You want to push the ground away. Tap, kick, kick up. Tap, up, up. So you feel that left side booty now. Relax your ankle joint. Relax your knee joint. Open the chest. Up, up. Your body's flat between those two panes of glass or you're that piece of toast. Don't get burned. Three more. Up, up. Two more. Up, up. Okay, last one. Hold that leg lifted. Reach that left arm overhead. You're gonna bend the knee and elbow. Again, crunch that left side of your body and then make a big rainbow shape so you get a little lateral flexion. Crunch it in, rainbow it up. Crunch it in, rainbow it up. Let's go five. Push the ground away, four. Woo. Last three, open up that chest, you guys. For two. Okay, last one, reach it out. And then from there, we're coming all the way down onto that side. So bending that um, bottom knee. Both knees bend, actually. You're going to come all the way down. I actually want you to rest your head on your bicep. Both knees bend. You can tuck those knees a little closer to your chest so your legs look like a little L. Pick up the right side of your body. Lift it off the mat. That left leg comes up and down. The entire leg lifts in one piece. Lowers in one piece. You want to bring that ankle up in line with that knee. Remember, your bottom leg, which is now your right leg, is pressing into the mat to help you find that space underneath that right side body. You should be able to kind of fit your hand underneath your right side. Lengthen your neck, so chin off your chest. Roll that left shoulder back. You can always use your left hand as a kickstand, but don't let that shoulder hunch forward. Let's go for four. Woo, feeling side booty on the left. Three. We got it for two. Okay, lift that leg up, hold it up. Now keep everything lifted. Bring the knee in towards your chest and then press that leg all the way out away from you. Bend that knee in and then press that leg out. Chin off that chest again. Roll those shoulders back. Collar goes wide. Bend it in, keep that leg lifted. Press it away. Reach for the opposite side of the room. 
Don't forget that space underneath the right side of your body. Squeeze those abs. Pick up that waistline. Going for four. We got straight leg in three. You're almost done with the side butt. We got inner thigh after this in two. Hold that leg out on one. Now you tap, lift, lift up. Just like we did before. Tap, up, up. Tap, up, up. Don't forget, space under that right side. Chest open, neck long. Tap, squeeze, squeeze. Tap, squeeze, squeeze. You just have four. Up, up. Three, up, up. I was going to say two. Two more now. Up, up. Last one, hold that leg lifted. From here, straighten out your bottom leg. You can use your top hand as a kickstand. Still keep that space under your right side. Big scissors here, scissor kick. And switch, and switch, and switch. We got five, four, starting to feel that right inner thigh. Three, almost done you guys, two. Okay, last one, squeeze those legs all the way together. Lower them down. Bend your left knee so that top leg bends. You're going to place the foot on the mat in front of that right thigh. Don't forget to pick up your right side body. Flex that right foot. Lift it up. Lower it down. Lift that leg up and down. So don't kick. Lift with control from the top of your thigh. Your leg is just coming along for the ride. Imagine you've got a paint can right around that right ankle. You've got to lift that can up and down. Open that chest. Whew. Still pick up that right side body. Lift it up. Five more like this. No kicking. Four. Squeezing that adductor. Three. Inner thigh. Last two. Good thing we requested it, right? Last one. Hold it up. Draw your little circles here. Up and around. Up and around. Stabilize your pelvis. Make sure your hips are not swaying. Woo! Lifting again from the top of that thigh. Let's reverse those circles. Your foot is still flexed. We're going to go into that point flex variation in four, three, two, and one. So drop your foot, point the toes, lift, lower, flex the foot, lift, lower. Point, up, down, flex, up, down. Point, up, down, flex, up, down. Three more. Point, up, down, flex, up, down. Last two. Point, up, down, flex. Up, down. Last one. Point the toes. Hold the leg lifted with pointed toes. Go back into those little circles. Up and around. Still pick up that right side of your waist. Steady those hips. Little circles here for four, three, two, one. Reverse the direction. Other way. Up and around. Up and around. You got it, you guys. Collarbones wide for four, three, two, and one. Straighten out that top leg. Put out the fire. Let's go ahead and sit up. You can sit onto your heels for a second. Just kind of rock your hips side to side. Okay, we're going to finish with just a little bit of upper body work. So you're going to come up onto your knees. Your knees are hips distance apart. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see me. Little tuck of your tailbone. Palms up. You're going to serve your platter. Press the arms out. Bend those elbows in. Press. And then, now if you want to add a little bit more, hinge back as your elbows bend. Come up. Press your hips forward as your arms extend. So a little hinge and press. When you hinge, make sure your chest stays open. Collarbones are wide. No hunching shoulders. Belly button to spine. You can pick up the pace if you want to get a little bit more cardio. Feel free to slow it down. Five more. Four. For three, we're going to hold that little hover in two. Okay, last one. Hold your little hover, turn your palms to face in, tricep kick back. So collarbones are still wide, you're reaching your arms back. Tiny squeeze between those shoulder blades. Make sure your ribs are still connected, you're not flaring your rib cage. Let's reach it back and bend. Back and bend. You got five, four, three. Flatten out that spine, little tuck of the tail, two more. Hold your arms straight back and then pulse those straight arms up. Squeeze. Squeeze. You got it, you guys. Chest open. Don't hunch those shoulders. Lift that heart. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Come all the way up. This time, you're going to keep your arms straight. Soft bend in your elbows. Lower your booty. Bring your arms down. Come up. Lift your arms. So kind of like you're scooping up a great big bag of rice. Down. <laughs> And up. You can add that little hinge forward as you come down. Up and press. If it bothers your knees, just stay all the way up. Just do the arms. 
We're just getting a little bit of upper body work. Because sometimes we neglect the upper body. We got to get that too, right? So four more. If you've got your weights, grab them. Last three. No swinging arms though. Lift like you're moving through molasses for two. When you come down, make sure you're not hunching. Last one. Come all the way up. I'm going to turn to face you. This time, keep the arms lifted. Just rotate. Palms down. Palms up. Palms down. Palms up. Make sure you're not just flinging your wrists up and down. You want to rotate that entire arm bone inside of that shoulder socket. Palms down. Palms up. Shoulders out of ears. Down and up. Let's go five. Woo! Squeeze that booty. Four. Tuck that tailbone. Three. Last two. Okay, keep your palms down on one. Bend your elbows like a goal post. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Press it out. Bend and press. If you want to add it in, hinge as you bend. Come up and press. Hinge as you bend. Come up and press. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Keep that neck long. Starting to feel those shoulders. Five. Belly button pulled in. Four. Hang on to it, you guys. For three. Last two. Okay, last one. We're going to come all the way up. I want your arms burning. You're going to lift them up and then bring them right back down. Just shoulder height. Lift them up. Keep your shoulders down. Arms come down. Shoulder height. Arms up. Shoulders don't come with. Arms down. Let's go for three. Woo. Two more. Arms up. Tuck that tailbone. Squeeze that booty. Arms down. Last one. Lift them up. Hold them up. Open them out wide. Palms facing forward. Draw me little circles. Collarbones wide. Tuck those ribs. Navel in and up towards the crown of your head. Woo. If you want to stand up, you can. If this bothers your knees, feel free to just stand up. Let's reverse the direction of those circles. Up and around. Up and around. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Hopefully your arms are burning. Last two. Last one. Bring your arms all the way down. Let's make our way up to standing. Let's go ahead and just stand right at the back of your mat. Inhale. Reach your arms up. Exhale. Scoop your belly. Come all the way down. One more time. You're going to walk out into your plank. Three, two, one. You are there. Squeeze those heels together. Make sure you're squeezing your booty. Lengthen your neck. Three push-ups. If you want to drop to your knees, you can. Elbows narrow. Inhale. Bend. Exhale, press. Again, inhale, bend. Everything comes down together. Do not let your head hang. Exhale, press. Last time, inhale, bend. Elbows narrow. Don't let your butt sink. Exhale, press it up. Hold it up. Pike your hips up. Scoop your belly. Walk your hands all the way back to your feet. Go ahead and hang heavy there. Shake out your neck again. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, roll yourself up to standing. Arms come up with you, and then your arms come all the way down by your sides. You guys are done.